SMH. Hey guys, it's your girl Victoria back to you with another review for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta season 11, episode 12, called Mena, it's whatever, to society. At this point, Erica, you talking about uh, Grace Hamilton is exed off from your list and stuff. She's always been exed off if you're going to be saying those things about Grace. Now, we're going to get into it as we get into the episode, but it's just like, I'm not saying Spice was 100% in the right, but at the same time, you going with those low blows, Erica, at this point, I can't defend you as much as I, as I was about to. So, anywho, we're going to just start off in chronological order. So, we start off with Chaotic. He meets up with Erica Banks at a bakery for their first official date night, even though I guess they met up the night before. They did a little canoodle doodle, you know, and it was a long night. It was a great night, and I guess they did it raw doggy dog. So, they sit down to talk, and, you know, Erica lets him know he's going to be starting to use a condom from now on until she says otherwise. He doesn't really seem like he minds too much. It seems like Erica is going to be the one calling the shots. And we're talking about Erica Banks. And so they, they get to talking about Renny Rucci and that little tussle and whatnot. And then uh, Chaotic invites Erica or asks Erica to be his date to his single release party. So she agrees to do it, but then says, what about Amy? Chaotic said they're just friends. Then he says in a confessional, Excuse me. He says in the confessional that he is always up for a polyester relationship. We still using this chaotic. Please, please. Like at this point, like I'm just very annoyed by this last scene. So it's like I'm trying to give the energy that I can that I usually give, but I really can't right now because right now I'm just I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because we should all know how Erica is. But at the same time, I'm just like here we go again. But anywho. Uh, Erica was just like, you better mention me on your speech when you do your little speech for the single release. So it seems like he's going to do that, but it looks like he never done did that. And then we move on to Jock. He visits, well, I guess he's at his house and talks with his son, Amani, and asks him to be his hype man for his performance coming up. Amani seems like he agrees and his mom walks in because I guess right now his mom's living with him since... From the way he's talking, pretty much she's kind of in her last days, so to speak. She's still able to do things, but it's like clearly like they both, they everybody knows she don't have that much longer. And, you know, it is unfortunate because she is no longer here on this earth. And so the fact that like we're seeing her and you can see she's not really like how she used to be. She seems more skinny, more frail. So it is kind of like, uh, it's pulling on my heartstrings. So, but you know, she's trying to be positive and, you know, trying to, you know, still do what she needs to do. And she hasn't seen Jock perform in so long. So she's going to go to his performance. So obviously he's still, he's down in the nubs because I guess, you know, they're all, they all know the inevitable was going to happen. So I guess he's just kind of trying to prepare himself for that. But you can't prepare yourself for, you know, a loved one passing, especially someone like your own parents. So I feel for you, Jock. I really do. He gives her a hug. Amani gives her a hug. And Listen, I I can't even say everything's going to be all right because it's not because we already know what done happened. So I feel for you, Jock. We then move on to Spy. She visits Shekinah and Shekinah tries to explain that Erica was upset because of the photo she done saw of Spice, Safari, and Amara. And it was interesting that Spice and Safari was matching, but Amara was wearing a whole different pastel color. But who cares? Um, what I feel some type of way. Well, the thing is, Erica always feels some type of way. Okay, they not together, but she feels some type of way if he's talking to any other chick. And it's like she can't let him go. It seems like he's trying to let her go, but at the same time, not to the point of not effing her no more, because they're still clearly effing. And you know, at this point, like I'm just tired. Okay, y'all talking about this was supposed to be Bambi season, but it's like we don't even really see much of Bambi. You know, so you making it your season again, Erica congratulations you got another bonus check i guess this is what we doing it for but this is ridiculous so anywho uh after they well they're actually just still talking about erica and you know they talk about how well actually she's kind of saying safari's messy he'd be messing with everyone spice mentions that he said he wanted to get with her but she would never ever get with him but i'm like mm, spice amara said the same thing and look at them now even if it is for the tv show look at them now so, I'm like, Spice, never say never, but I would hope you don't. But, I mean, you you very much so going on his side. So, I mean, I, I just never say never. So, anywho, 
Spice is upset with Erica because I guess Safari done showed her or sent her some voiceover or whatever the case may be of Erica uh, not concerned that Spice was in a hospital and she already knew Erica didn't like her and whatnot. And, you know, she kind of said, let's set up a meeting so we could like talk this out. So Spice said she's open to it. So she kind of going to set it up for them. Okay, whatever. We then get to Erica Mena. Like we get the little montages, Erica Mena and Bambi. Uh, they take their kids out on a picnic date. And then we see Spice go see her pastor for, I guess, a one-on-one -on -one counseling session. And then we have Scrappy Mama D and Diamond talking at an event. And I guess Bambi, I mean, Diamond calls Bambi a horse. So now her and Mama D are making horse noises. Scrappy ain't really trying to hear that. He seemed like he wanted to engage and maybe chuckle or something, but he knew he was on TV. So he had to kind of walk away to make it seem like he ain't trying to condone none of that. But it's like, you didn't stop them either. So you kind of condoning it. And then we get to chaotic. So we get to his single slash video release party. Mama D is there. Diamond's there. Amy there. Edgar Banks is there. And... You know, while he's performing, I guess he's staring at Erica while he's performing. So Erica feels special and whatnot. Okay, sure. If it, whatever floats your boat or finds your lost remote. Okay, and then we, <laughs> and then uh, I guess after the performance, it looks like Sierra done popped up. So she's talking with Bambi. I, mean, I don't know why I keep saying Bambi. She's talking with uh, Chaotic and Erica Banks. And while they're talking, Amy's looking from afar like, hmm, okay, but y'all not doing nothing right. So, you know, he even gives her a kiss on the cheek. Amy's still looking, even though like it looks like Amy's with somebody else too. And then after that, after they're talking, uh, Sierra lets us know that she not holding nothing against Chaotic, even though she was mad the last time she saw him, whatever, so she gonna come to support. Then talk to Erica saying, you know, I know what happened between you and Rennie, but maybe we can, like, try to hash it out so at least we could be cordial. Erica ain't trying to do none of that because she's like, we just had a little altercation and I'm not trying to get into none of that. So, you, you could save all of that. So, nothing of that's gonna happen, but whatever so then we get to chaotic and scrappy they're talking and i guess scrappy i guess tries to be funny or i don't know if he felt really some type of way that chaotic is cool with bambi now calls him a fake friend chaotic tries to explain the situation that he was just trying to hash a beef because obviously bambi don't like him whatever okay it's just a lot of to me i'm just like look this is all irrelevant stuff okay we're talking about fake friends real friends because i'm cool with your you know baby mama soon to be x y like i but it didn't seem like it was anything really big, but the fact that he brought it up, I'm just like, are you bothered? Because I'm sure a lot of people are still cool with you and still cool with Bambi. So so we're just going to come on chaotic. Why don't we talk about Rashida? She seems like she's still cool with both sides. Anyway, so after that, looks like uh, they go talk to Diamond and Mama Dean, whatnot. And then that's when Chaotic sees that Amy's with another man. And I guess supposedly from what he's implying a downgrade from him and i'm like is it really a downgrade from you because you're making it sound like y'all was together and she kind of did a rebound so are y'all together were y'all together or what is it because it seemed like you a little bothered that she's with somebody else at the event and she's bothered that clearly you with somebody else at the event what's going on because then when uh they're talking about i guess sierra and um erica banks amy calls erica a thought and i'm just like Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I be talking about. Y'all, I'm trying to act like y'all. Y'all want to act like y'all not bothered so bad. But then so quick to throw a name out there. You're calling Erica Banks a thought. For what? For for being with uh, Chaotic? So does that make you a thought too? Because you want to be with Chaotic? Because y'all both want the same man. So you just mad that she, I guess in this instance, won and you didn't. Because you felt like you had the upper hand because y'all had history. But if y'all had all this history and, and knew each other for so long and nothing really done happen, uh, I mean, it seemed like nothing was going to happen. It seemed like you was just a friend that you cool with, that he's cool with, but he didn't want to take it f further than just being friends that flirt with each other and whatnot. I mean, I guess she saw his uh, pee pee, so that's something. But I mean, that's not a flex. 
So I, I don't know what you, Amy, just please worry, focus on yourself and elevating yourself. Don't be focused on chaotic because he ain't nobody to be focused on. Okay. Let, let's just, please just move on. But I guess since Amy's in her feelings about chaotic and Erica, she asks his diamond, did you and Scrappy do anything? Diamond said, no, because if, if we did, you wouldn't know about it. But you guys did though. Listen, nobody believe in you not do you didn't do nothing. You just don't wanna be I mean, she actually really is already messy. But I mean ain't nobody believing it. You said we would know. Well, I feel like you standing up and acting like you that girl was letting us know. So thank you for the uh, confirmation and clarification that y'all did something in that hotel room, even though we already knew what y'all did in that hotel room. Okay. So then after <laughs> after that, I guess Sierra texted Chaotic to bring Diamond over to her. And so he brings the diamond over to her, goes to commercial for dramatic effect, comes back from commercial for dramatic effect. And I guess diamond's real name is Brittany. Did I know this? No. Did I, did I care to know this? No. So anyway, they get to talk and come to find out I'm, I'm new to this information that I guess they went to high school together. Diamond trying to throw shade like, well, you look so different now that, you know, I, I didn't even know. Sierra's like... I do not look that much different from my high school photos. They even show a high school photo. I'm like, yeah, I can see it. I mean, her lips are way more plumb now, but for the most part, she looks like the same person. So come to find out, I guess, uh, Sierra's baby daddy took Diamond's virginity. I'm like, why, first off, why are we bringing this up? What's, why are we bringing this up? I thought this is supposed to be about horse and Diamond's uh you know words because she calls Bambi horse and you know Sierra kind of looked like she wanted to laugh I, I saw the little smirk Sierra it seemed like you wanted to laugh a little bit but she's like why are you calling her that don't call her that and whatnot you think Diamond gonna care Diamond seemed like the type of person that you know she she's quick to come with the jokes and say whatever she want about somebody but then will be so upset if you were to say anything about her and want to fight you for no reason so you know <laughs> They keep going back and forth. It don't seem like the conversation is really going anywhere. So Sierra was just like, okay, I'm just going to dismiss myself because we're not going nowhere. And Sierra even says, you know, if I wanted to, I could, I could get you. Like in regards to a fight that Sierra could whoop her ass. And Diamond's just like, oh no, you could never do that, honey. All right. What, what is this conversation? I guess we just got to fill in some screen time. Cause for me, I'm just like, this this ain't going nowhere it seems like y'all had to do this for the tv show but i didn't really feel any actual tension it just seemed like y'all was just trying to act like y'all had beef and for sake of you know the storyline so okay whatever we then get to jock him and um his family's getting ready to go to the performance they're in the car on their way and kendra lets jock know that she invited bambi and sierra to the performance so jock is just like why would you tell me this now so Kendra's just like, you know, Bambi's still family. If you say so, Kendra, would I have done it if I was in Kendra's shoes? No, because I know what drama it can potentially bring because this is love and hip hop. But she going to do what she going to do. And surprisingly, there was no drama. There was tension, but there was no drama. So we get to the arena and, you know, Jock does his performance and Scrappy does the performance and whatnot. And Jock said he was doing it for his mom, which I'm just like, just because I know what done happened. I'm just like, Jock, my heart. And then I guess uh, before the performance, Scrappy was asking him if he was okay because of his Instagram posts, crying on, naked on camera and whatnot. Listen, I saw that when it came out, but I was just like, I'm not even going to, okay, I'll Jock, I'm going to just let you go through what you got going on. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to let you uh, do what you gotta do, however you gotta do it, you know, I, I, I didn't even read the whole thing, because I'm just like, I'm, uh, everybody does, you know, deals with situations in different ways, would I have done that, absolutely not, but, but, you know, these celebrity figures, you know, they, they just, you know, everything gotta be in the forefront, so to speak, so if, if, if Jack wants to, put out, you know, novels and monologues and cry on camera naked, then, you know, that, the jock, you, you can do that. You can do that. We're going to move on, though. So, after the performance, it seemed like a lit performance, you know. I, would I have been there if I could? I mean, I'm not going to pay money, but, you know, if somebody wanted to pay for me to go there, I, I, I might have, you know, went there and, you know, showed out. Uh, Sierra and Bambi uh, gets there. They dance when they're doing the performance. So, I'm like, okay. And then afterwards, they go backstage to see Kendra and Jock and hug them. And I'm like, oh, 
the baby's cheeks are out. Like it's, it's, it's just out there. I'm just like, all right, baby. Oh, okay, baby. Let, let's just, let, let's, let's show the cheeks out. Let, let's show Scrappy what he's missing. So he seemed like he didn't want to be bothered. Like I said, this is the part where you can tell it's like tension there. So it's just like you, like let's this thing be over. So you have Scrappy talking with Jog with the other fellas. And then you have Bambi talking with Kendra. And then I guess when Scrappy and Jock is about to walk past, he makes sure security's in between them so there's no altercation. Now, Bambi's just looking like, like, what's the point of that? But I could understand though, because no one loving hip hop, this is the, that's a perfect way for somebody to have a sneak attack. So I'm not too, you know, saying that Jog is like, no, Jog, there was no reason for that. that that's listen, per, we got to take precautions at all costs. Even though there's so much security there, nothing would have happened, even if it was an attempted sneak attack. But you know, we got to take precautions. So I'm not, I'm not mad at it. You know, baby, you, you you be getting off on people for no reason, like chaotic, even though he is problematic, but th that was really uncalled for at that one event, Kirk and Rashida event, whatever. So listen, Josh just got to make sure he, his cousin was okay. So after that, we have Sierra comes up and talks with Kendra and Bambi. Bambi makes mention that, you know, she thought about suing Diamond too, but decided against it. I mean, you could have, but would you have really gotten any money really from it? Or were you just doing it for thinking about doing it for the purpose of annoying Diamond? Either way, if you do, if you did it, I mean, whatever. I, I they, this ain't got nothing to do with me, so I really don't care. But you know, you didn't, so it seems like you know you still have. I'm not gonna say a heart because I don't feel like you have any compassion towards Diamond. But in a sense of like, okay, you're not just trying to be irrational and just do all this stuff. Like, you just want to get your divorce and be at peace. That's what I'm getting from her saying that statement. So, good for you, baby. Anyway, we then get to Erica and uh, Shekinah and Spice meet up. Okay, so... Erica comes in, tries to... She does a uh, hug and kiss Shekinah. Then tries to kiss Spice on the cheek. Spice moves her face. They sit down and Erica immediately gets into, you know, stating her speech of saying that, you know, she, she was, <laughs> okay, so Erica, <laughs> Erica is pretty much trying to explain the fact that, you know, she did feel bad that Spice was in the hospital and whatnot. And even her, Sierra and Bambi, they fasted for like two days for Spice. She kind of not believing one lick of what she was saying and whatnot. Spice wasn't believing one lick of what she was saying. And, you know, when Spice brought up like, okay, what about the voiceovers or whatever the, that Safari does, sent her or showed her. So Erica was like, the reason why it may have came off that she didn't care for Spice was just the fact that Safari was so, like, concerned for Spice and her in the hospital. And he don't know what he's going to do if she were to be gone. But it's like she was in the hospital, you know, pregnant with their child and whatnot. And he didn't give one ounce of care. So any woman would feel some type of way. Now, this is the only moment in this scene where I'm just like, I can see where she's coming from. Because knowing me, I'm, I'm damn sure, for sure would be looking at my husband sideways if I was in the hospital pregnant with his child, with his big-headed kid, you know, and you don't have no concern to come visit me, see how I'm doing, whatnot. Meanwhile, you 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 over here all in distraught for a friend? Like, not even like a family member, like for a friend just because y'all came from the same country? So this is one of those, this was where I was just like, Okay, I can see where you're coming from because I too would feel some type of way. So she asked Spice, wouldn't she feel some type of way? So Spice is like, I guess everything that she done said went over Spice's head because Spice already know how Erica is. We all know how Erica is, but I'm, this this was one of those explanations that I kind of understood. But she, you know, she'd be trying to make you have compassion for her, but then in the same breath want to do something for you to not like her again. And I'm talking about Erica because... Since Spice didn't take none of what she was trying to say, she was just like, listen, I've been a single mom for 14 years, so welcome to the club. You know, everybody does. Everybody, you know, we have a lot of people who are single moms, so welcome to the club. So then that's when Erica was like, I've been a single mom for 16, 17 years. So then that's when Spice says, well, your son doesn't even like you. 
Now, I don't know where Spice got that information from. You know, she know Erica more than me. I don't even know Erica at all. So, you know, I don't know what information she's privy to that I don't know. Because later on, we do hear Erica say she got that information from Safari, I bet you, and whatnot. So, I mean, Safari was your husband, so I'm sure he's privy to some information. I know Safari talks a lot and makes a lot of jokes and don't make a lick of sense a lot of the times and always be lying. But sometimes I feel like he, he be telling the truth, but fabricating it. So, maybe your son do like you, and I'm sure he loves you. But I'm sure he also doesn't want to be around the cameras and stuff because you probably exploit him, you know, to, to make it show that, like, you have compassion for him. But I feel like if if you if you had it your way, you wouldn't even be dealing with him because I feel like you kind of just pawn him off on your peoples, even when you're not on camera. So there's that. So after she brought up her son... Erica gets triggered, so she, like like she kind of said, she didn't shake the table, she flipped the table, and it's, that's exactly what she did. She flipped the table, all the drinks and food went all over the dang place, and it went to commercial for dramatic effect, came back from commercial for dramatic effect, and, you know, Erica saying grace is a disgrace, and, you know, she has a second chance of life, and then this is how she came with her second chance of life, coming at her, talking about her kids. Erica, you making yourself seem so big, like, oh, you know, she had a second chance at life and she wanted to come at me. But who are you exactly, Erica, for, for you to make it seem like her second chance at life is a waste because now she has beef with you? Nobody cares, Erica. No one, no one cares. I mean, the only one who cares is you. And, and this is what we're talking about, like... <laughs> You want to make it seem like you cool and all that stuff with everybody and whatnot. But the moment they say something now, you want to you wanna go so low, so below the belt. And then obviously their security separates them. They going back and forth yelling at each other and whatever. And then that's when Erica is saying, telling Spice as they're trying to push her out the door that she should have she should have expired. And I'm just like. So because she brought up your son not liking you, that's that's something, listen, I understand it may be triggering for you because a lot of people talk about you and your firstborn kid and now you don't care for him or whatnot. But I just, I, I just feel like that's something you need to let roll off your shoulders. But to immediately take that and to go for the low blow saying you should have expired, that's, that's, that is harsh. Cause I'm just not that type of person. I don't, I really don't ever try to go for low blows. Cause that's just like, that's, that's sick. And you know, my petty self in that moment, I probably would have been like, well, you should expire too. You know, when you was in the hospital pregnant, your son should have survived and you should have expired. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how you gonna say that? You know, so not only that, it don't even, that's not all guys. She don't even, she calls her a blue monkey. So I'm like, okay, so she should have, she should have expired, and she's also a blue monkey. You you do realize your kids are black, right? So do you think all black people are monkeys, uh, Erica? Because if you do, please please let us know. You know, we are a lot of us already don't mess with you. We don't care for you. None of that stuff. But it's just like the fact that you're saying it blatantly out. And then I don't know if she's going to come out with an apology or if she already did. But it's just like save your apology because that's how you really feel. You know, like Spice said, your true colors came out. And like I said, Spice is not all the way in the right. Because I'm just like, how you know her son don't like her or whatnot? You know, that. I mean, I guess that, you know, that's triggering for Erica. But at the same time, it's like, so she went kind of low and triggered you. So you're going to go lower and tell her she should have expired. Like, that's that's just wrong. When I, I know she probably went through a lot of health scares with all her plastic surgery she done did. That's why her little rocks of, of breasts look concerning. She need to go checked out or else they might make her expire. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, for me, I'm, uh, Erica just very, it's just draining to me. And I, Spice don't even deal with her. I hope the rest of the cast don't deal with her. This is one of those things where I'm like, producers, are we going to X off Erica from 
any other love and hip hop seasons or are we just gonna allow this to happen because y'all let a lot of things happen and we just continue on with it but I just feel like in this instance it's like if this is what she thinks about Spice and keeps saying it as she's getting in the car to leave then who knows what else she thinks about everybody else now I understand everybody has their own thoughts and opinions about everybody but it's like the fact that you kind of have those thoughts and you letting it be known those are your thoughts you could exit stage left you could be there's a door get out we don't care like you wipe your hands clean of uh, Grace Hamilton. We wipe our hands clean of you, Miss uh, Erica Mena. And, you know, she was so upset because she had all her 28 uh, damn veins popping out her damn forehead. And I'm just like, Erica, please, you you need to get that checked out. Get, get, get all this stuff checked out. Get, get all this stuff checked out. So that was the end of the episode. She done left. Grace is just you know, like, wow, she's just very disgusting. She kind of said, you know, that was out of pocket. And, you know, everybody else going to find out about the next episode. And it looks like uh, Spice going to get into it with Bambi next episode. And I'm just like, all right, Spice. Listen, I understand you ain't really feeling her little friends and stuff. But, like, we don't need to get into it with everybody at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But she going to do it. So, here we are. They, they want to keep us coming back. But I just hope Erica don't be on too many more scenes in this season. Because I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could talk too much about her. Knowing that she probably thinks I'm a blue monkey. Because I got the blue lights and I'm black. Dark skinned at that. So that was the end of the episode. If you like this. I'm so done her. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you laughed at least once, please subscribe. If you didn't laugh. I understand this episode had a lot going on, okay? So, come back next week. Hopefully, it'll be more lighthearted so I can make more little jokey jokes, make you laugh so you can subscribe. Comment down below what you thought about this episode. Be easy, breezy, lemon squeezy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.